Hi, I'm Mark Wells, Operations Manager at Microman. I'd like to thank you for watching the video introduction to the Bambino 200, the first multi-core controller with net MF and embed support. We're very excited to introduce this new line. Let's start with speaking with Jesus Alvarez, our Engineering Manager, about some of the main features of the Bambino 200. Thanks, Mark. We are excited to announce our first Bambino mainboard. The Bambino is designed to support popular frameworks for embedded software development, including Microsoft NetMF and Embed. Both have extensive class libraries, tools, and large community support, allowing you to deliver embedded applications faster and more reliably. Hardware and software licensing is open source, giving you the freedom to adapt the Bambino to your specific requirements. Phil Champagne is the engineer in charge of our Cortex-M designs. Phil, can you tell us some more about the features of the Bambino 200? Sure, Mark. The Bambino 200 is our entry-level main board. We chose the LPC4330 from NXP, the world's first dual-core ARM Cortex-M microcontroller. It contains an M4 and an M0 core. Both are capable of running at 204 MHz. The Bambino 200 comes with 264K of SRAM and 4 MB of flash on board. A USB device port serves both as a power source and for data communications. I.O. starts with two buttons, two LEDs, and can ex be extended using five gadgeteer sockets. The Bambino 200 has a compact 4-inch by 2.3-inch form factor. It will start shipping at the end of May for only $24.95. Now you may be wondering how to use a second core in an embedded application. Well, a common strategy is to use the Cortex-M0 as a slave doing low-level peripheral I.O., leaving the Cortex-M4 as a master to handle more complex processing tasks. This master-slave architecture is quite useful in embedded applications. For example, the M4 can use its floating point and DSP instructions for audio processing while the M0 responds to user commands via USB and monitors alarm conditions. Both processors can run at 204 MHz. In the ideal case of 100% utilization, you are capable of over 400 MHz of performance. Both processors have access to memory blocks and peripherals via a common interconnect matrix. Each memory block and peripheral can be assigned to either core. For applications requiring additional I.O., we offer the Bambino 200E, including the same base features but with enhanced functionality. Flash goes up to 8 megabytes, and there are 10 gadgeteer sockets for I.O. modules. A 100 megabit Ethernet is on board, as well as a microSD and an XP socket for wireless communication. Besides those, a JTAG for low-level debugging a, and a coin cell battery for the RTC can easily be implemented with some soldering. The Bambito 200E starts shipping in the middle of June for only $39.95. By following Gadgeteer standards, it greatly simplifies interconnects with the Bambino 200E. X and Y sockets support three or seven GPIOs. A sockets support analog inputs, while O sockets support analog outputs. U sockets are for UART, S for SPI, I for Escort C, H for USB host, and D for USB device. The firmware supports each socket functions to simplify software development. Talking about software, let's ask Jesus about the key features of the Bambino firmware. Well, Mark, firmware is one of the key features of the Bambino 200, with the first NetMF and Embed ports to the LPC 4000. On NetMF applications, the CLR runs on the M4 master while the M0 slave executes native code. We support a Gadgeteer API with Visual Studio 2012 or 2010. Embed applications can invoke embed functions on both the M4 and the M0. Firmware is open source and can be built with the Kyle ARM MDK. In two months, we'll support builds with the GCC compiler included with the LPC Expresso and CodeRed. Most new laptops and servers today use multi-core processors. Their cores are symmetric, memory is shared, and operating systems schedule tasks between them. For embedded systems, asymmetric cores are simpler to implement. Firmware can pre-assign tasks and dedicate peripherals to each core without an operating system. Some can be allocated dynamically at runtime, but most partitioning occurs statically at compile time. In the LPC 4300, both cores have access to the same peripherals and memory blocks via the internal bus matrix. The M0 slave can independently control its assigned peripherals and has its own interrupt vector table. A common way to implement inter-core or inter-process communications is using a shared memory block for data and commands. 
The M4 Master can control the slave and power it on or off as required. The NXP Dual Motor Controller is a good example of how software partitioning in multiple cores can be very effective in an embedded system. Here the M4 handles motor control algorithms that take advantage of its enhanced DSP instructions while the M0 is processing commands coming from the CAN bus. With a single core, firmware would be more complex and likely less efficient. This list shows peripherals supported in our first release of NetMF and Embed firmware for the Bambino. The core set allows you to control digital, analog, serial, and USB device ports, as well as timers and interrupts. Onboard flash can be used for a file system. In the 200E, we also support wired Ethernet and microSD file systems. Micromint is the company behind the Bambino. We are based in Lake Mary, Central Florida, and all our systems are built in the United States. Since 1979, we have been fulfilling our mission to deliver microcontroller-based designs that are high-performance, reliable, and cost-effective. If you have special requirements, call our sales staff. We can also deliver custom hardware and software for your vertical market requirements. Where does the Bambino name come from? Bambino is Italian for little child. It is also the nickname of baseball legend Babe Ruth, who broke home run records without a large build. The Micromint Bambino mainboards are small in size but big in functions to enhance your embedded applications. With the Bambino, you'll hit it out of the ballpark.